Hi, uh, this is Dr. Srikant from MDS Conquer. Today I'm just going to enlighten you a few MCQs, how you need to solve and how you need to start your preparation, how you need to tackle the synopsis and everything like uh, the pattern of changing from uh, the university question answer preparation to the MCQ orientation is quite difficult, particularly for the interns. So this bridge or this uh, video is going to enlighten you how you need to focus, where you need to focus, what you need to focus. I know that you are well versed this system. I mean, pretty back like five years back when you're in 12th standard. So I, I think uh, that huge gap is making lots of difference of your attitude. So. Just going in detail, we'll start with the first question uh, that is like which of the following local anesthetic agent has shorter duration of half-life means before going into the options let, let us let us go in detail into the question. So for every question there will be a keyword the keyword is going to give lots of information and it's completely going to change the meaning of the question the meaning of the mindset of the paper setter okay so for this there are two pretty good keywords that is one is like shorter means the least is concentrating on the least duration and second is like half life is one of the keywords so you need to know these two keywords and you need to correlate them so that you'll get the answer <laughs> the answer here is a uh, procaine so if you want to learn something related to this <coughs> pardon and uh, you need to move to the next one okay that is this okay this is a table that is taken from Malamed uh, and if you go in detail into this table you can clearly see the least half-life is for the true local anesthetic agent one is chloroprocrine and one is procaine that is 0 0.1 hours 0 0.1 hours is nothing but if you want to convert into minutes that is six minutes <coughs> and there are many MCQs that a paper setter can prepare from this table for example, there is a most common repeated MCQ is this one that is 3.5 hours that is Bupivacan. Which of the following local anesthetic agent has highest half-life? Bupivacan is the answer and it's the value is 3.5 hours. And the paper setter can ask a question like which of the following is the correct ascending order of half-lives of the local anesthetic agent? They can ask a question. So according to this table you need to go with an order. They can ask a question like this, which of the following local anesthetic has highest duration of action? They may not give bupivacaine in the option. They can give various options like tetracycline, articaine, cocaine and lidocaine. The answer is lidocaine that is 1.6 hours. And uh, apart from this, uh, I just want to give and light you with few more MCQs related to this bupivacaine. Okay, coming to the bupivacaine, bupivacaine is the drug of choice while you are going for the spinal anesthesia because of its larger duration of action. And the second most common MCQ related to the Bupiva kind is which of the following local anesthetic has cardiotoxicity? High cardiotoxicity. The answer is Bupiva kind. It's a recent MCQ in 2015. And one more MCQ according to the recent trend changes or modifications in the Grossman. Okay. Bupiva kind is the local anesthetic of choice in the case of hot teeth. Okay. If you don't know the meaning of hot teeth, hot teeth is nothing but the teeth that will not get anesthetized even after repeated local anesthetic application that is due to the uh, uh, receptors uh, different types of receptors we will learn it in detail but for the namesake you learn that heart teeth the local anesthetic of choice you need to go for bupivacaine according to the recent trends or else if bupivacaine is not there you need to go for articaine these are the true local anesthetic of choice for the heart teeth okay uh, this is the question number one explanation this is how you need to correlate and go with the question so next is we are moving to the next question that is uh, the letter w and e in this particular assessment is respectively a simple is e and f <coughs> logically even if you don't know a smarter people like if you know the abbreviation of this you can go with or else you can just take it w w okay and e is asking you so the answer is D and if you want to learn something related to the synopsis of this letter you need to you need to go with this particular table okay this was given by this great person in the year 1985 it can be an MCQ again so a W 
is winters and h is height of mandible that is present a is angulation of the third molar with the long axis of the second molar and uh, r is root shape and the development f is follicle and e is path of exit so these are the things that are going to give or assist the difficulty of extraction of a third molar there are many other classifications this is what the question is about so the paper setter can ask a question okay they can ask a question what is the difficulty index of a <coughs> mesoangular impacted third molar with a height of mandible of 31 to 34 millimeters and angulation of third molar related to the long axis of the second molar is 50 degrees and the root shape is favorably curved and the follicle is enlarged with a path of exit means the space is available for the path of exit and they can ask you a numerical this can be this can how a simple question can be converted into a tricky question synopsis what you read or question what you are going through is same but the difficulty index I mean this question may be related to the difficult index but the difficult index in the examination in a particular question can be increased if the paper setter want to make the question too tricky and too lengthy this is what a lengthy question is you need to go with like if it is a mesoangular the difficult index is 1 <coughs> and the mandibular height is 20 millimeters difficult index 0 and the long axis is 50 again difficult index 0 favorably curved again it is 1 so it is 1 0 0 1 and uh, follicles are normal 0 and the space is available so the difficulty index is 2 for this particular teeth which is <laughs> which is which was, which was in the question so this is how you need to correlate the question thank you and uh, we have lots more discussions to come over uh, please try to subscribe